Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for May 17th through May 23rd. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and another person, this may resonate with theirs or your moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Scorpio. Hello. Whoopsie. All right, Scorpio. I'm trying to do it so I can't see it because um, there were questions about me manipulating the deck or something and I, I, I don't I mean you know but it just whatever all right Scorpio all right page of cups knight of panic knight of pentacles that could be Taurus the empress that could be Taurus or Aries for me. Some people um, have said it's Taurus or Libra. If that's the way it works for you, go for it. For me, it's always been Taurus or Aries. I don't even remember where I learned that from. Hold on a second. What are you doing? I have to get the. Stop it. Can you stop that? Let me get the spray bottle. Okay. Uh, Capricorn. That devil, that could be Capricorn. Nine of Cups. Okay. King of Wands, that could be Sagittarius. Nine of Swords, all right. Let me get the little guys here. So, one, two, okay. So we're only, we've only got two major arcana. We've got Knight of, a King of Pentacles, a King of Wands, a Sagittarius, and we got Taurus right here. All right, Scorpio, what's going on with you? So, oh. did you, are you staying put? Like, are you staying under yourself and focusing on yourself and not, like, it, but it's like baby step? Is that, okay, or, or is it, are you letting someone talk to you again? What, did, what are you doing? You're, you know what it is? It's like half oasies. <laughs> it's like, well. You're, you're prioritizing yourself like 80%, but you still got an ear open for somebody talking to you. Who's a somebody? What's this Empress about? What's this Empress? Scorpio. Three of Swords. Okay, what's this Nine of Cups about then? What's this Nine of Cups? Magician, that could be Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. So it feels like you're needing to make a decision about something, or you know what decision you sh you know what you should be doing about something, but you're not you're not not doing anything, and you're not doing anything. So you're like trying to take advantage of that loophole limbo area. Well, I'm not doing anything, but even inaction is still action. Whoever knows that. Okay, all right. What's this Nine of Swords about for Scorpio? This Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands. Good for you. Yeah, it's hard though, isn't it? It's hard standing your ground because you still are thinking about stuff and this person's talking at you and you are you might not be doing anything about it, but you're listening and you're considering. There's a lot of that going on. <laughs> There's a lot of that for these readings. What's this King of Wands about? Because the King of Wands. There's, you've got to make a decision because new information has come in or you got someone talking to you and this is you thinking like, well, could it be different this time? Or do I want to go in this direction or do I want to go in this direction? And you know what it was like where you came from, but you're still kind of thinking like, oh, what's this? Capricorn. What's this devil card about? I mean, not Capricorn. What's this devil card about? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Pentacles? So work is stable and secure, but this is a distraction. This romantic situation ship is a distraction. And you're, you're going to have to fight to maintain your position 
on something because you're going to have somebody testing the boundaries. I don't know if this is new. I don't know if this is work. This feels like a romantic situation. I do know it's not work. The, I mean, it could be, but it feels like romantic situation. You got somebody going to want to test your boundaries and poke your boundaries and you don't want to go where you once came. So is this the person from the past coming back and pulling, tugging at your heartstrings and you're like listening? Or is this a new situation and you're just like, I'm not ready to open up to you. I'm still kind of reeling from things and we're keeping this light. We talked about that. It's just this or it's just that or it's just whatever, but I'm not going any further. I want to keep things light and, and what I want, I want it, I just, I want it to be about me and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you're just not ready to kind of go there with someone. And so who's pushing, somebody's being pushy with you this week. Someone's testing you this week. What else for, what's this Knight of Pentacles? <laughs> okay, so this is you having to kind of work to maintain your boundaries and to maintain that stability because you got someone coming in that either feels very similar to a, an unhealthy dynamic that you walked away from and it's baby steps and you're doing good, but maybe you still have a little bit of feelings for them. So you're kind of allowing them access and then you regret it and then it preoccupies you for the week. Um, or is this a new situation that feels very familiar to that which you just left and you're not wanting to go there. You're still healing from stuff and you're just not wanting to go in that dynamic. There's a real call for you to keep things simple and light and about you, but you're still distracted by something. And I think it has to do with someone coming back in from an old dynamic. Not that you're going to let them, but they still make an appearance. And you're like, really? I could have, I could have done without that distraction. I could have done, you know, baby steps. I just realized I have ink on my finger. That was right. Okay. So. <sighs> hmm. It's another thing that's been like showing up. For the some of the readings is that there's a lot of internal processing of something but outside you don't give any impression of that like the outernal <laughs> my word you don't show any signs of any kind of internal struggle or you know considering this or that but it does affect you you're not showing it but you people are affected by someone making a re-entry or hearing things or things like that so um, and this is kind of, this is similar to that, that you're, it's a real effort for you to maintain boundaries and to maintain your advantage and your walking awayness or your, um, you know, detachment here. And yeah. What else for? The, it feels like though, that you're not, there's, and, and part of the reason why, because here's the thing you're a Scorpio. When you make a decision, <laughs> you make a decision and there's, there's no confusion about that, but it feels like the door has been left open here. It feels like you haven't decided or not decided. You just simply went off and done your own thing. So you, you didn't call it, but you're not participating either. So here they come and you're still not participating. It's like, you're not letting them know all of the internal machinations going on, trying to sort this out or figure this out. And at one point, it's kind of like you just walked away and did your own thing without closing it down or anything. And so I think this person still thinks that they're allowed access to you because you haven't told them any different. But part of the reason why you haven't closed it down is because there's still something there for you. It's still There's still unfinished stuff going on. So this whatever is unfinished is resurfacing this week for you because you're not out of the woods yet this is your yeah you're just kind of doing your own thing and it's like it's like you're doing your own thing and then they find you you're not making yourself available but they somehow find you anyway i'm not talking about an unsafe situation i'm not talking about that i'm just talking about you kind of just did the fade did the ghosting thing or whatever and they sought you out Maybe this is you playing hooky from work and your manager shows up at your door, not because of social distancing, but it's kind of like that. Like it's kind of like, it's not unsafe. I just want to make that clear. I wouldn't be making light of it if it was. We'd be having a very different conversation. <laughs> what else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? And I, I feel like, this, okay, boobies. This is um, the star card, <laughs> Aquarius. 
here's the, I was just looking at this and I pulled that. I feel like the disappointment is that you are making strides and you're getting your life the way you want it and thing you're you're starting to kind of get and then this re-entry comes back in. And you're like, Arr! and it affects you. It affects you. It, it kind of shakes you a little bit. And so things are going good and you're in the flow and you're, you've got you in mind and prioritizing. And then this something comes in, um, it feels romantic, to disrupt the flow. Or an issue arises with a new person or an old person. There's something that comes in that disrupts the flow and you're just like, dang it. Because it's not as simple as just ignoring it because... You don't care about it you do care about it so it does affect you and it's like you're not giving any indication that it does affect you but it is affecting you oh i did the thing already okay all right this just won't quit whatever this is it won't quit it's like been a year now, like off and on there's somebody you know this ugh. and i think that has to do with part of the strategy or the the fact that there's um, Scorpio always maintains the advantage somehow. So for an advantage that only Scorpio can see sometimes, quite honestly, you'll leave the door open or you won't do that because there might be some, there's always a strategy involved and, and good or bad or indifferent, it is. I mean, it's not, it's just, it just is. And so I think that's why there's always kind of this resurgence sometimes because before you react, you think about, okay, you think of, you strategize first. And so it's never really done, done until it's done. And only you know when that is. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's why there's this resurfacing because there's still a little something, something there that's not quite finished yet. And for the Scorpios that I'm reading for, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Isn't it funny how that works? Okay. Oh, I just took my glasses off and put them back on. Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Good, because this mitigates that. Because this comes back in and it's like, nope. <laughs> because you are on your way, you're doing the thing. Everything's under Scorpio's purview here. Things are good. Things are in flow. You're healing. You're doing your thing. And then this comes back in that necessitates you having the boundaries. And you're like, gosh, what? Oh, Got to deal with it because it wasn't closed. Because you didn't want to make a dramatic exit because it might have bit you in the behind later. So... Now there's, you know what I mean? It's that, that gray area. And I think the disappointment or the man about it is um, you kind of feeling like you're starting to be up and running again. And I got this and I'm doing whatever and things. I'm working hard. I'm, I'm busy, but it's busy with a purpose because I'm, I've got, I'm having the life that I want. I'm having the time that I want. And then it. But then this one shows up. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> and, you know, the, I mean, we got two angels here. So, you know, do your worst. Okay. All right. And the, also, it's only a week. <laughs> this is only the week. It's not like a month reading or, and this isn't certainly, you know, starting the ball rolling for months to come about. This is just, if nothing else, it's like a, Dang it! Like an inconvenience, you know? But, I will say, because I've been given the green light to go, you, you're free to call me out, so I'm going to do it. The reason why this resurfaced, though, is because you haven't shut the door all the way. That much is clear. Just saying. So if you do want that door shut, if you want to get back to this right here, you need to make it clear, and you know this. I know you know this. So the reason why this is showing up is because they think they can and they think you know that they think they can. I mean, it's, you know, it's that whole meta thing going on, that gray area. Whoopsie. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, now it's a party. Okay. So we got the devil. I'm not turning it or I'm leaving it like that um, because I'm finding that it's actually quite purposeful for me to regard it in that way, to leave it that way because it, it's actually quite significant. We've got a romantic situation that is not aligned anymore. We've got you two not seeing eye to eye. There's a broken heart there somewhere. There's hurt feelings. This was not working. 
you weren't on the same page. This is somebody that didn't care for you or was a, a broken attraction, whatever. And yet you're still in limbo about it. You're still trying to break free from the pull of it and you're doing good, but the door is still open. So here they come and you're actually listening and you have the power to shut that door. They're not going to do it. And there it is. You have the power to do it, but will you? Thankfully, this is only a week reading. And I asked that question like that. I'm leaving it hanging. Like, what are you going to do here? The ball's in your court. What are you going to do? And that's where we leave the week because um, this is about you having the power to do it. It looks like you're going to have divine intervention, hello, <laughs> to make the right decision. It's just that it's not going to be without some back and forth and like, Argh! and it tugging at your heartstrings. It's not going to be an easy, easy decision. It's going to be a familiar decision. It's not going to be easy. You know what you have to do. It's just like, why, why do I have to make, well, then shut the door fully. Because otherwise they're going to keep coming. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> Scorpio, you know I love you. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Um, you have yourself a good week. Because it is other than this. <laughs> um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. And I thank you for stopping by. And thank you for your service. If you are an essential worker or first responder. Your service is much appreciated. Okay. All right. Have a good week. Okay.